Hello everybody, day toi. Finished with Comic Con. Thought I'd give everyone a little update as to what happened today. So a little bit little bit of disappointment today for a couple of reasons. One decided not to do Hall H today, and apparently I missed one of, if not the most exciting things that's ever been presented in Hall H, according to other media outlets, and that is uh, Francis Ford Coppola's new movie that's coming out called Twixt. So, a little bit disappointed that I missed that. Uh, check out other websites that were there, because unfortunately I was not. So, if you want to find out about that, do that. But instead, I decided to go to another room today. Uh, saw a bunch of other cool panels. The very first one was a panel on production design in Hollywood. A uh, bunch of production designers. One was a two-time Oscar winner. They've collectively worked on The Walking Dead, Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, X-Men, Chuck, Alias... Uh, Doctor Who, a lot of experience there, pretty pretty cool, kind of, kind of, makes me want to work in that field, anyway, uh, the one right after that was Capcom came in and was introducing their new game, uh, Marvel vs, Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom 3, not a very big gamer, but people who were there, did, who seemed to be really big gamers, were going absolutely berserk, they were going mental over this game, and it was pretty cool to be there to sort of experience that with them, uh, I have to say, it looks pretty cool. They announced four new characters, uh, Hawkeye, Ghost Rider, Firebrand, which is a Capcom character, and another Capcom character, which I can't actually think of right now. Um, but yeah, that was pretty cool. Then the next one that came after that was a Disney Channel show, which I never even heard of, called Kick Batowski, about an eight-year-old stuntman, which actually looks pretty funny. They had the voice cast there, they had the show creator, and then they had this empty seat for Dwight Howard, who NBA star Dwight Howard, who apparently does a voice on the show. And the whole gimmick was that oh, sorry, Dwight Howard can't be here, he's an NBA All-Star, can't do that. And then all of a sudden, after all the apologies are done, lights go down, music goes up, Dwight Howard runs in, high-fives the audience on his way in, huge, massive thing. It was really good showmanship, actually. Uh, it was pretty funny, he's a pretty funny guy, and the show itself looks like something I kind of want to watch. Too bad I don't know when or where to watch it. Um, then after that was, Nick, you are going to absolutely hate me for this, but... Robert Kirkman, the comic creator of The Walking Dead, and many uh, other comic, uh, came in and did a panel for one hour, and that was, he is a very, very funny dude, he knows his audience, he was engaging, he was unbelievably sarcastic and hilarious, uh, yeah, that was awesome, and then, another disappointment, the panel that I actually sat in this room to go and see was cancelled today, which was Disney producer Don Hahn, so I was kind of really ticked off about that, because that means I also missed the community panel today, so dang it! Uh, other little tidbits that happened today, I got Billy Zane's autograph, I got to check out this other little... I got Billy Zane's autograph! Ha, Billy Zane! I had to sort of stifle my laughter as it was happening. I shook his hand. It was hilarious. Uh... Yeah, I got to check out this other sort of little mini Comic Con called Trickster, which is right across the street from the convention center. Uh, walked the floor a couple times today, got a lot of more free stuff. It, very cool today. Anyway, check out thecord.ca for more updates on what happened today. I am absolutely exhausted, but only one more day to go. So, yeah, check out thecord.ca. More pictures will be coming, and hopefully, maybe even more video. So, stay tuned for that.